Today we are going to start our first lesson for Unit 3. We are going to learn about circles. We're going to find the area and circumference of circles, and we're going to start with circumference. Because a circle does not have sides, we can't say that a circle has a perimeter. Instead, a circle has what we call circumference. And when we say a circumference, we are referring to the distance around a circle. To find the circumference of a circle, we always use the formula C for circumference equals pi times diameter. In this case, for pi, we are going to use 3.14. You never want to use the pi button on your calculator, and instead you just want to use 3.14 unless you are told otherwise. Now, what does diameter mean? When we have a circle, a circle always has a midpoint. The diameter is the line that goes from one end of the circle to the other end and runs through the midpoint. That is different than what we call a radius. A radius will start at the midpoint and go to one end of the circle. So the relationship between these is that to get from the diameter to the radius, we would divide by two. To get from the radius to the diameter, we would multiply by two. Let's look at some examples of how to find circumference. Our first problem says find the circumference of a circle with a two inch diameter. Well, if I draw what this looks like, the diameter I know goes all the way through the circle, so this would be two inches. Whenever I'm working with circumference or area of a circle, I'm always going to start with the formula. The formula for circumference is circumference equals pi times diameter. Well, I'm looking for the circumference, and for pi, I'm going to use 3.14, and I know that the diameter is 2, so I'm multiplying 3.14 times 2. This means that my circumference is 6.28, and I always need to put my unit of measurement, so in this case, inches. That means that this circle measures 6.28 inches around. The next problem says find the circumference of a circle with an eight centimeter radius. Well, in this case, I'm actually only getting the radius, so this measurement is eight centimeters. Again, I'm starting with my formula, circumference equals pi times diameter. Well, this problem only gave me the radius and it told me that the radius is eight centimeters. Well, I know that the diameter goes the rest of the way. So the diameter is my radius times two. So I would do eight times two, and I would get a diameter of 16. So that's what I need to use in my formula. So I'm going to multiply 3.14, since that's pi, times the diameter, which I found was 16. When I multiply 3.14 times 16, I get 50.24, and this is centimeters. So this circle measures 50.24 centimeters around. Number three says find the circumference of a circle with a three-foot diameter. Well, if I draw this circle, then it has three feet going across. My formula is circumference equals pi times diameter. So pi is 3.14, my diameter is three. When I multiply 3.14 times three, I get 9.42 feet. So my circumference or my distance around my circle is 9.42 feet. For number four, if I'm going to find the circumference, I know that my formula needs me to have the diameter but this circle only gives me the radius because it only goes halfway. So if the radius is 14, what is the diameter? Put your answer in the chat now. The diameter is always my radius, which is 14 multiplied by two, so my diameter is 28 inches. I am going to use that in my formula, so I'm going to multiply pi times 28, whoops, and then 3.14 times 28 is going to give me a circumference 
of 87.92, and it's inches. So that means that this circle measures 87.92 inches around. Now for the next one, I wanna find the circumference. This one gives me the diameter, and since my formula for circumference uses diameter, I don't have to do anything first. So I want you to find this circumference and put your answer in the chat. For this problem, I would have multiplied 3.14 times nine, and that is going to give me 28.26 centimeters. So the distance around this circle is 28.26 centimeters. Now I want you to find the circumference of number six. To start with, I would have needed to find the diameter. Since the radius is five, I know that the diameter is twice that since it would go all the way across. So the diameter is actually 10 centimeters. Now I would put that into my formula. So I would multiply 3.14 times 10. And that would give me 31.4 centimeters. For our next problems, we are actually going to work backwards. For these problems, it tells me the circumference and asks for diameter or radius. Well, when we're doing this, we again will always start with our formula. Since it tells me circumference, I know I'm using the formula for circumference, which is C equals pi times diameter. The difference here is that it tells me the circumference. In this case, my circumference is 37.68. So I am going to replace my C with 37.68. Pi is always 3.14. And what I don't know is my diameter. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. Well, when I look at this, what I've actually created is an equation. And all I need to do is solve for D. To do that, I am going to get rid of my 3.14. Well, right now it is being multiplied by D, so the inverse of that is dividing by 3.14 on both sides of my equation. When I divide 37.68 by 3.14, I get 12. And when I divide this 3.14 by 3.14, they cancel to leave me with D. That means that my diameter is 12 feet. Number eight says the circumference of a circle is 69.08 centimeters, and the question asks for the radius. Well, let's start with our formula, which is C equals pi times diameter. This time, I know that circumference is 69.08, so I'm going to replace my C with that. I know that pi is 3.14, and I do not know my diameter. Again, I have an equation, so to get my D by itself, I need to divide by 3.14 on both sides of my equation. 69.08 divided by 3.14 gives me 22. And these numbers will cancel to leave me with D. Now, if the question had asked for the diameter, then I would be done. But we have to be careful because this question actually asks for the radius. Well, I know that if I have the diameter, that's the whole distance across the circle. So the diameter of this circle would be 22. To get the radius, I'm going to take my diameter, which is 22, and divide by two. Well, 22 divided by two is 11. So that means that the radius of this circle is 11 centimeters. I want you to try number nine. And once you have your answer, put it in the chat. For this problem, we're gonna start with our formula, circumference equals pi times diameter. It tells me the circumference is 47.1, so I'm going to replace C with 47.1. I know that pi is 3.14, and what I do not know is my diameter, so I'm going to leave that as a variable. Then I'm going to solve this equation by dividing by 3.14 on both sides. 47.1 divided by 3.14 is 15. 3.14 divided by 3.14 cancels to leave me with D. Because this question asked me for diameter, 
then this is going to be my, be my answer. So my diameter is 15 inches. Now let's look at the area of a circle. So go to page 36. The area of a circle is the same as the area of any shape. It is the square units that cover the circle or the space inside of the circle. To find the area, we are going to use the formula area equals pi times radius squared. When we're solving area problems, we would always need to remember to use the order of operations. And the order of operations tells me that I would actually need to do exponents first and multiplication second. So every time I solve these problems, I'm going to have to find my radius times itself, since that's what the second power means then multiply by pi. Let's look at some examples. My first problem says find the area of a circle with a two inch diameter. If I draw this circle, if it has a two inch diameter, that goes from one side of the circle to the other. Now, my formula for area says area equals pi times radius squared. Well, that means I need the radius, not the diameter. If the diameter is two, the radius is half that distance. So it's going to be two divided by one, which is, or two divided by two, I'm sorry, which is one. So the radius is one inch. I am going to substitute that into my formula for R. So to find my area, I'm going to take pi, which is 3.14, and multiply it by my radius, which is one squared. Well, I need to do one squared first. And remember, one squared does not mean one times two. My exponent actually tells me how many times I multiply this base by itself. So one squared is the same as saying one times one, which is just one. So I'm going to do 3.14 times one, which is going to give me 3.14. So the area of this circle is 3.14 inches, but because it's area and area is measured in square units, it's actually inches squared. Now my next problem says find the area of a circle with an eight centimeter radius. So my radius is eight, and I'm going to use my formula area equals pi times radius squared. Since this problem gave me my radius, I can just start off by substituting. Pi is 3.14, and the radius is 8, which needs to be squared. Well, 8 squared actually means 8 times 8. When I multiply 8 times 8, I'm going to get 64. So I need to multiply 3.14 times 64. When I multiply that, I'm going to get 200. 0.96. Now these were centimeters, so this is an area of 200.96 square centimeters or centimeters squared. Number three says find the, the area of a circle with a three foot diameter. So that measures three feet across. Well, my formula for, circu for area is area equals pi times radius squared. Well, this gave me the diameter, not the radius. So if the diameter equals three, then I know that the radius is half of that. So I'm going to take my three and divide by two. Three divided by two is 1.5. So when I plug into my formula, I'm actually going to use 1.5 for my radius. So pi is going to be 3.14, radius is going to be 1.5, but I need to raise 1.5 to the second power. Well, 1.5 to the second power is the same as saying 1.5 times 1.5. When I multiply 1.5 times 1.5, I get 2.25. So that means I'm doing 3.14 times 2.25. And when I multiply those together, I get 7.065. Because this was measured in feet, this is going to be square feet or feet squared. So that is my area. Number four asks us to find the area of this circle with a 14 inch radius. So my formula is area equals pi times radius squared. 
Well, pi is 3.14 and my radius here is 14, so it's 14 squared. I know I would need to do my 14 squared first, so 14 times 14 is 196. Then I'm going to multiply 3.14 times 196. And when I multiply that, I get 615.44. Now this measure was inches, so this is going to be inches squared or square inches. For number five, we see that we have a diameter of nine, but my formula for area needs the radius. Since my diameter is nine, I need to find the radius by taking my diameter and dividing by two. Nine divided by two is 4.5, so my radius is 4.5. Now I'm going to plug this into my formula. Pi is 3.14 and my radius is 4.5, and that needs to be squared. Well, I know that I need to do 4.5 squared first. That means 4.5 times 4.5. Well, when I multiply 4.5 times 4.5, I get 20.25. So I'm going to now multiply 3.14 times 20.25. When I multiply those together, I get 63.585. And these are centimeters, so I'm going to say centimeters squared. Now I want you to find the area of number six and put your answer in the chat. This problem gives me a radius of five, which I'm going to plug into my formula area equals pi times radius squared. Pi is 3.14 and my radius is five, which needs to be squared. 5 squared means 5 times 5, which equals 25. So I'm going to multiply 3.14 times 25. And when I multiply those together, I get 78.5 centimeters squared. Now let's look at the next part. This part is giving me the area and asking for either the radius or the diameter. Well, let's look at a problem. Just like before, I'm always going to start with my formula, which is area equals pi times radius squared. This tells me that the area of a circle is 200.96 inches squared. So I am going to substitute 200.96 in for area in my formula. Then I'm going to replace three pi with 3.14. And since I don't know radius, I need to leave it just like it is. Even though it has this square with it, I still need to leave that as well. Now, I still want to get this radius or the r by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 3.14. When I multiply, or when I divide 200.96 by 3.14, I get 64. These cancel to leave me with r squared. Well, now we need to figure out what r squared means. r squared is the same as saying r times r, or r multiplied by itself. When I multiply r by itself, I'm going to get 64. Well, I have to think about what number can be multiplied by itself to get 64. Well, I know that 8 times 8 is 64, so that means that my radius is actually 8. So my radius is 8 inches. Another way to do this is to take what we call the square root. To get rid of an exponent of 2, you can take the square root of both sides of your equation. Well, if you do the square root of 64, that is equal to 8. Now I want you to try number 8. Once you have your answer, put it in the chat. For number 8, I'm starting with my formula area equals pi times radius squared. I know that my area is 12.56, and I know that pi is 3.14, but I don't know radius squared. To get my r by itself, I would divide by 3.14 on both sides. 12.56 divided by 3.14 is going to give me 4. These will cancel to leave me with r squared. Well, I need to figure out what number multiplied by itself gives me 4. I know that two times two is four, so that means that my radius is two feet. Since this asks me for radius, that's my answer. 
Now I want you to do number nine, but pay attention carefully because on number nine, you actually have to find the diameter. That means you need to find the radius first and then use that to find the diameter. To solve this problem, I'm starting with my formula area equals pi times radius squared. My area is 254.34. I'm replacing pi with 3.14 times radius squared. To get my r by itself, I'm going to divide by 3.14 on both sides of this equation. 254.34 divided by 3.14 is 81. These will cancel and leave me with r squared. Well, I need to find out what number multiplies by itself to get 81, or that's the same as taking the square root of both sides. When I do that, I know that I'm going to get nine because nine times nine equals 81. If this question had asked for the radius, then that would be my answer. But this question asked for the diameter. Well, I know that the relationship between the radius and the diameter is that the radius is half the diameter. So to get my diameter, I'm going to take my radius, which is nine, and multiply by two. Nine times two gives me 18, so my diameter is 18 centimeters.